Alright, welcome back, my friends, to some more Skyrim here. Nice to see you stopping on in. Uh, we're out in the, uh, well, the middle of nowhere. No, we're, we're not in the middle of nowhere. We've just basically, I've just pulled up camp. Um, we're really close to Ragnavolt at this point, in case you missed the last episode. A lot of the work in Markarth has been, has been completed, at least stuff that I had on the to-do list. We did unravel that Forsworn Conspiracy. Uh, I, I'm not sure how that's gonna play out, it's gonna be interesting. I mean, Madanak, he's been freed from, from Sidna Mine. He was clearly taking the fight to Thonar and the Silverbloods, and whether that has some sort of an impact on the game, uh, moving forward, I'm not really sure. Um, I think we're just gonna, I'm gonna set off at this point, looking at the, uh, the compass, a couple things marked, that is Mark Earth, that's the arrow for, uh, Chel Chelmo, and of course this one over here is the Stormcloak camp, looking to get back to a Galmar Stonefist this episode, and, uh, report in, you know, let him know what's, what's happening as far as, um, what, what went down between myself and Rarick, and, uh, let him know that there is a... Uh, a weapon shipment. Weapon in silver, as I hear it told. Bound for solitude that Rarick would like to get his hands on. And should he, well, then he'll work with us. And so I have a feeling that's what's going to be on the to-do list here for this episode. It may take up the entire episode. I'm not really sure. Oh, nice. Definitely going to... What do we have rolling in here? Damn these Durzog. Damn them to hell. Where's Raya? She left me hanging out here. Raya, are you coming, my dear? She's clearly hung up on something. Maybe she has problems of her own. Gone. Oh, uh, one more. Oh, <laughs> done with the shield. Now, where is this woman? What's happened to her? I don't know. It seems a, a little odd, though, I have to admit. A little odd indeed. Did I not have her following me? Pretty sure I did. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave the boar meat. I don't really need it right now. I'm a little worried about my lovely... My lovely house Carl here, slash steward. Nowhere did she get put down, perhaps? I don't know, no. That wouldn't have happened. Last I saw her, there, what is she doing? What, what, what is she doing? What, what is she doing? Acting the fool, clearly. Oh, Venmeg, this is gonna hurt. Oh, dang, hurt a little bit. They call him the Mountain Man, though, as I hear it told. Yes. <laughs> he can take a fall or two like that. What are you doing, Ryan? Let's get rolling. What, did you, did you get knocked stupid or something? Brain fart moment, clearly, by the woman. Did you have to? Oh, she, she had to go to the bathroom. All right, fine. Are you ready? God, let's go. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that away. So let's get the compass, uh, the marker up here. That was fine. Those Durzogs, they were no match for me. Uh, this looks like it's a bit of a sheer drop here. Yes, indeed it is. Raya, oh, where are you going? Don't end it, my dear. I know you let your thane down, but it's, uh, it doesn't shouldn't come at the cost of your own life. No, no. When you gotta go, you gotta go. I totally understand. I guess we'll just go down the face here. They, they, well, I mean, they call him the Mountain Man for a reason, you know? <laughs> He's earning that title here. There we go. I don't know if Raya's coming down quite as swiftly. Though. Oh, look at this here now. I don't know. Forsworn all over me. The Warlord, in fact. I mean, like a madman. You like them apples, sir? You can't even get started. I'm shutting you down before you can even start. Oh, and again, you're stacked. What are you trying to do? 
That arrow hurt a little bit, I have to admit. One more arrow shot and I'm done. Oh, such a seven pin maker. Will help him. That hurt, that hurt. Actually, no, it didn't do too much. The wave of damage. Let's see if I can take this guy right out there. Oh, and you're done, sir, you're done. There's still somebody else here. Maybe this is where the Four Sworn ended up when they fled the, uh, the mine and the city. Maybe they claimed the city, and they've called for reinforcements. Words being sent to this location as we do battle here, yes. Alright. I'm gonna leave all this. I wonder if I were to put on my old god's armor. Somebody getting ready to come out that door, I think. Somebody around here somewhere. I have a feeling whoever it is is in the stairwell here in this tower. Whether we're looking to get the high ground or the low ground, I'm not really sure. Oh, it's Raya. <laughs> How did she... <laughs> what is going on with this woman here today? How did she get in there? In fact... Are you gonna, are you gonna pull the lever? Raya? You gonna pull that lever there, my dear? Alright. This damn gate take all this. Oh, there's no flight of stairs leading up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I wonder what's down there. Oh, we got a little, a little something here as well. Take it. Alright, maybe I should have her wait. No. Whoever it is, is, yeah, definitely a magic builder. What is that, a spriggan head? Oh, good lord, it is. The atrocities. The horrors. Oh, <laughs> bullseye. I thought that was a target up there. I guess it's not. Some sort of decoration. This one doesn't stand a chance, methinks. Oh, the big old shield bash. Oh, a couple big old gashes across the throat as well. And finally, the death blow. The Vin Maker, he drops the hammer. Well, in this case, it was the War Axe. All right. Uh, Forsworn staff valued at 183. Not really worth much, is it? Some sort of shrine here built up. Praying to the old gods, apparently. Yes. Whoa! God, what is with this woman here today, Raya? Yes, my Thane. You, you uh, need something? You, you just need to chill here. I want you to just wait for a second. Yes, Thane. Okay. Be careful. So, something funky's happening. I'm not sure what it is, but <laughs> clearly, clearly. Things that you are just not right in the head right now. All right. Should I take this? Is it worth it? Not really. I'll take it, though. Screw it. I'll do a little more exploration here. Do I have... I've got a bit of weight. No, I mean, I can... And once I get back to the storm... Oh, oh, creepy. And once I get back to the Stormcloak camp, I'll be able to do a little, uh... A little business. Take care of a little business there with the Quartermaster. So this is no big deal. I'll grab a few items. All right. Uh, Blind Cliff Bastion. Well, I should perhaps have a look. Now, there was another lever. Maybe I have to go in there, ba in, into the Bastion to actually get some sort of alternate... Uh, find some sort of alternate point to, to activate this gate. Well, no, that wouldn't make sense. There was another lever, though, somewhere, wasn't there? Um, I'm just trying to remember where it was. I'll tell you, those bats. I thought they had already cleared out of the area. Damn it, bats! You know, just as I suspect. Alright, what else could it possibly... Where where could it possibly be located? You know what, I may have to come in from the uh, from the top level. I don't really know here. Or maybe there's an alternate entry point uh, down low. No, that wouldn't make sense. No, oh, here... Here we go. Been maker using his noodle. See if we find anything here. Invisible wall, apparently. Either that or he's just bumping his noodle. Okay, so I can't get up there. Looking for a lever. Looking for a lever to get to the treasure. Behind that door. Behind that gate. Is there no way through there at all? I guess not. 
And no hidden lever around here. You know what? I may be able to reach through the bars and... Oh, hold on a second. No, no. Can't do anything there. I may be able to just reach through the bars and activate the damn thing. No, it doesn't look like it. We we'll probably need some alteration. Magic. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that works. Alright, I'll come off this. We'll have a good look on this other side here. No, it doesn't look like there's anything. You are shit out of luck here, Vinmaker. You know what? The last thing I can check is the Bastion. Oh, now I can get through there. Isn't that just peachy? Alright, we'll get Raya waiting, watching my back. Let's go have a look in here. See if there's something that can activate that gate. My curiosity has been peaked. I can't really... I don't want to waste too much time here. I don't know what I'm getting into. This damn forsworn uh, stronghold. Is my is my lantern not activating? There we go. That took a little while. Oh, <laughs> they've got a graven. Bloody well captured in here. Which seems a little odd. I thought that the uh, the Forsworn were they were they were allies with the Hagraven. All right, now what is this going to do? Is this going to open up her cage? Perhaps <laughs> it might end up opening the uh, the gate outside. Nothing there. I could find myself an uh, an ally in the Hagraven. Who's to say? Or Hargraven. I'm not sure. Uh, I'd have to look at the name. can't remember if there's an R in there or not. Oh, look at this. This seems to be quite the ordeal. <laughs> We've got dart shooters all over the place. <laughs> not that I would imagine they'll do too much to, uh, to me at this point. Well, let's go and free up the, hu the Hugraven. If I if I need to battle the creature, then I certainly will. Petra, evil Petra, put me here, stole my tower, hid her, chew her bones, let me out, kind, kind meat. <laughs> Why would I release you? Because, because you are such a nice Breton. Yes. A Breton. I'm no, I'm no Breton. I'm Nord. Can't you tell by this fantastic mustache? Good lord. Oh. Yes. You all look the same. <laughs> anyway. And, uh, what do I get if I, if I let you loose here? Foul creature. Ah, you have a pretty staff. Help me find Petra. Wring her neck. Pluck her eyes. Take my prize staff. I just want my tower back. No, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Rogar needs to begin to mend the air of his ways here. Petra, Petra, cast her eyes. Making a judgment call on this. Don't always have to do the mission when it's presented. Oh, what are you gonna do in there, Mel? Oh damn, you're brutal here, Vinny. <laughs> Slaughtering her for while she was in there caged. I'm loving it. I'll take <laughs> just kill her you kill you and take your stab. How's that sound? That's a, a fiery explosion. 42 points damage, 15 foot radius. That's pretty good. I'll grab all that. I sure do have a good actually I do have a good chunk of weight carrying capacity available to the uh, to the Vin maker here. Alright, well, what do y'all think here? One, two, three. Let's try the center handle. Oh wow. <laughs> Fantastic. Is someone there? Oh, that's no good, Maker. There we go. Hey, quick work there. Look at this. You're not fooling anybody there, developers. Good lord. I didn't knock her out of her boots. I think I did. I, th I think I did. All right. This place is a. Oh. I get a. It gives me a bad feeling. Not only did I knock her out of her boots, I knocked her right out of her gear. 
That's uh, my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right, nothing of any real interest there. Some sort of shrine. This is probably going to deactivate those blades, or maybe it'll open the gate. Okay, yeah, the blades have have shut down. The slicers and dicers. Where's this leading? It looks like it opens up on the other side, but no. Maybe just a bit of an optical illusion. Alright. I think I'm, I've been really, uh, I haven't really been mixing up my shouts very often lately, have I? It seems to be Fusro Da and Fusro Da only. So, uh, I'm trying to uh, mix in some, I'm trying to remember what I have hotkeyed. I think Frost, Frost Breath's in there, Slow Time's in there somewhere. Try and get a little use out of them. Somebody's working. Sounds like somebody's working the vein. Yeah. Somebody's doing a little mining in, in, in behind that door, I would say. Stay silent there, Vidmaker. Stay sneaky, sir. Alright. What do we have here? Treasures galore. Fox belt. Take it. I'll take that. Oh, the flute and the, uh... <laughs> the flute sitting next to a, a dismembered foot. Well, you don't see that every day, I have to admit. I'll take the iron ingot, why not? Just so I could get to the amethyst. What is this here? Oh, a satchel. Oh, nice! Actually, I think I already found a Daedra Heart, didn't I? That's a good find, though. I, I, I'll finally... When I'm finally back in the Riften area... I'll be able to stop by that one, uh, Orcish Stronghold. You know, it's been so bloody long. That was freaking me out, that shadow there. Heart skipped a beat there. I was wondering what was about to descend upon this lair. Oh, nice. A couple of monarch butterflies looking to take out their bin maker. But you got the better of them, didn't you? Yes. Yes. You are loathed by the, their kind. What was that? Oh. Ah. Frost breath for you there. My forsworn looter. I thought it said lover for a second. Yeah. Pretty good number on it. Not as much as I would have liked, though. Yeah. I'm all in the reach. I want to try and bring a little bit more of a methodical style to it, you know. I think that's how Skyrim should be played. And I'm pretty even with the, with the kind of the, you know, your run-of-the-mill baddie out there right now. Your humanoids, you know. I'm pretty, I'm, I think I'm pretty even with them. Pretty evenly matched. It's once when you get overwhelmed, you know, that uh, it can really become problematic. All right. Ooh, some Quicksilver. Let's haul her out of the way. And uh, there must be a pickaxe. She was definitely working this vein. The main vein she was, yes. Yes, she was. <laughs> Forsworn Club. No, nothing I really want here. I don't think I have. No, I don't have it with me. I left it back in Sydney Mine. I should have brought it out. There's got to be a pickaxe laying around somewhere. Can't believe that. Anyway, if I have to go without, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over a little quicksilver. Although it, there was some sort of key ingredient for something back at uh, Lakeview Manor, but I think I had retrieved it. What I needed. All right, let's get a quick save in. Go to my bow here. Get a little snake. Oh, there's a pair up there. That was a terrible shot there, Vinmaker. Clearly, sir. Clearly. Oh, that was a nice one. You are routed. Oh, wow. Were you ever a weak one? Oh, it's Petra. Are you petrified, Petra? I think you are. Maybe she won't fight since I killed Melka. I don't know. She doesn't know what to do up there. Does she even see me? Maybe I should go and have words with her. Let's see. I'll go in with slow time ready, just in case she freaks out. You know, these Hargravens, maybe they got some really bad eyesight. Shall we have words here, Petra? <laughs> oh, I've, I've taken the life, the life, the will to fight right out of the woman. If you can call her that. She doesn't want to do it. She wants no part of me. Well, then I shall slay you. There may have been more to that had I at not actually killed Melka back at the gate. But that's okay. You know, Rurgard, he did what he had to do back there in, in Markarth. You know, I should have known better than to get involved in that whole 
that whole whole affair. It didn't really suit his character. Although uh, personally, you know, I can I understand the the Forsworn's point of view at least somewhat. Their desire to have land that that they govern, that they they, you know, they're not uh, answering to to the Empire or in this case case the uh, the Nords, right? Is there anything here I want? I don't think so. At least that's how I understand it, you know. I don't know too much about the whole Forsworn, but I, I do know a little bit. And I did read that one that one book, that one report on, on uh, you know, Ulfric's dealings with them. And it was in question that perhaps he had been, been a war criminal, you know. Used methods and tactics that were deplorable, yes. So... And uh, I'm not really a big fan of Ulfric, to be perfectly honest. Even though I have a feeling that uh, we're slowly giving him the throne, you know, through uh, through Hargard's actions here. Well, I might as well take the damn eggs. I mean, they're gonna just... I do love my... <laughs> I do love me some ingredients, yes. Alright, well, I've gotten completely sidetracked this episode, haven't I? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing in here. I'm not really trying to complete a mission. <laughs> I killed both Melka and Petra. Took the staff anyway. I don't know if I got a mission complete or if I have to go back and say a prayer next to Melka's body. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, the Fell Hergravens, well, they deserved what they had coming to them. Did I check this? I can't. I, I, I'm not even sure. I'm just going through the motions here, people, while I run my mouth incessantly. Yes. Yes, that's how I do. That's how I do. That's what I do. All right. Oh, nice. A leg of goat. Fantastic. Looks like somebody was forced to eat it raw. And they chose not to. Oh, that's a good one. Resist magic three. Is there anything else in here? Oh, nice. I do like those feathers. So there's something else in there. Oh, I can sleep. I bet you I would catch uh, the bone break fever if I were to, to bed down in this goddamn mess. In this godforsaken place. Get a case of the... Yeah, I'd probably get a double shot of the bone break fever and, and the rattles. Yes. You get a rattles sleeping in a place like this. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Alright, I guess that's it. I guess that is all. Oh, now this could uh, actually be spilling me out to some sort of location that will allow me access to the upper tower. Fantastic. It was all worth it. What is that? Is that a spriggan? No. <laughs> no, it's just some vine. Oh my, I'm seeing things here. I'm seeing things. All right. Empty. Well, why would you even put it there then, you filthy developers? Good lord. I thought I was doing a pretty good job there, spotting that before I dropped down, to to a point where I would have to go all the way back through the dungeon to get back up again. But no, denied. Fil filthy developers. Yes, clearly. No, not really much of a payday here. Eh, not bad. Not great, though, but not much work involved, and I, I did get Melka's staff, so I'm happy. And I, I could have perhaps found a friend in the Hograven. But no, I believe they are responsible for creating the, uh, the Forsworn, those Briar Men, or whatever. I've, although I've never dealt with one, I have done a little reading on, on the subject. Yes. Yes, you have to stay up to date on such matters when you are the Dove Cat. Yeah, savior of all of Skyrim. Alright. Well, I think I'm getting a little short on time. Uh, hopefully, what I'd like to do is just get back to the camp. And again, this is just atrocious. Just quite creepy. Oh my. Anyway, what I'd like to do at this point... Now, where did I leave Raya? And hopefully, she sorted herself out and got her head on straight. Oh, I never did go down here, did I? I got something down here. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll wrap up what little business I have. Actually, I've got no business. I'm just out here exploring, adventuring, and freelancing. Yes. As, uh, as the Mountain Man. What are all my other titles? I've forgotten after all this time. What? Oh, uh oh. Oh, wow, we got a few different things there. Alright, let's get a little poison action on this, uh, this blade. And not only that, but I get a nice, you know, I forgot that I. Well, I didn't forget, but. It's clearly making a difference here. I've got the increased bleeding effect of my war axes and short spears now. So that's playing a part. Now, I did see somebody wielding magic. Here we go, right here. Try and, 
try and lure them in. That, will they not take the bait? Apparently, no. But we'll take the bread. You know what I'm gonna do? Just to make use of uh, some potions, I've got plenty of these damn things. I think it was just for us. Uh, I'm getting ready to. I'm not gonna give her a dose of her own medicine. I queued off the, uh, the frostbite, or sorry, the, the frostbite. Oh. Oh no. And I'm back on, uh, on, uh, Fusro Da. Get out of here, Da. It's <laughs> about enough of that. And I'm gonna need some sort of regenerate health there. Oh yo yo, and do I have any? Do I, oh, we've got a ranger. You know what? Maybe I'll take that. Why not? Oh damn! Oh nice. She was really doing a number on me. <laughs> Listen to them screaming. I like it. Oh, good lord! Went right to the box. <laughs> Dickin needs doing. Yes, yes, it does. Terrible. Just terrible. Terrible. All right. Mine's out the gutter, please. Um, what is, uh, what's all the jingle jangling? What is that sound? It sounds familiar. Oh, it's Nernroot. Who an ebony... It's not even really worth all that much, amazingly. I expected an ebony dagger to be worth a little bit more. Um, I'll believe that. It sounds like there's something throbbing, pulsing, through the cavern. I don't know. She she had some good arrows. Good lord. Oh, no, well, no, dwarven aren't all that great, are they? Those may have been the ones I put in her. You know, who knows? All right, and those four sworn arrows are, are garbage. Well, what have we stumbled onto here? Hmm. Did I search him? Yeah, I took his bread, didn't I? And somebody was in here wielding the big old axe as well. I don't know what happened to him. Grab some of that hanging moss. Can I get up a level there? I don't know. Got a bunch of uh, kegs to search as well. Or barrels. We'll take that. Actually, you know, I could start whipping together some glass when I find it. I'm telling you, I've been hearing something throbbing. I don't know if it's just the ambient music. And there's still something else jingling, jingling, jangling here, yes. But it's a very familiar sound. I just can't place it, though. For some reason. Alright. Well, let's go down a level and uh, have a look around here, Vinmaker. Oh, this does not look good. I guess it's just oil. Well, we got, uh, we've entered some sort of spider's lair. Perhaps. Perhaps. Some sort of underground grotto. Little piece of paradise down here, but, uh,. In this state, it's looking a little creepy. Yes. Paradise lost. The evil goat heads on pikes, etc., etc. Doesn't add to the, uh... <laughs> to the peace. To the peaceful aura of this place. Alright, and there's plenty of uh, ore veins all over the place. Iron, we've had quicksilver around here as well. Wow, it's going deeper still over here? Anything? Did I miss a uh, little loot? Nothing I want. Alright. Well, let's take a look a little deeper down. This place give me the willies, though, I have to admit. Little uh, slicing and dice. Oh, he's freaking out. He's having a seizure. Damn. Poor guy. 
All right, let's see. What do you have on you, sir? My good man, nothing I want. Just a pointless slaughter of your kind. Well, in the end, it's uh, it's all... So we, can, well, we can explain it away as that uh, Rogard, he's looking to redeem himself for... for aiding those Forsworn. For aiding Madanak. He had no choice in the matter, though. As we all know. He had to escape the mine, and he needed the Forsworn's help. You know, I wonder, could I have slain Madanak where he stood? We were left alone there for a little while. Alright, we've got some rain rolling on in. And, where, where have I spilled out now? <laughs> where, okay, I think I know where I am. I think this is the log. Okay, no, right up there should be... No, it's not. It's not up there. That looks like some sort of a shrine, though. What is that? I don't know. I can't be far at this point from the, uh... From the Stormcloak camp. It's a shame we didn't get there. Oh, we're a good ways off. I'll march down the road. Alright, all well, at this point I do have to wrap it. And uh, I think what I'll do between episodes is, uh... Find my, my way back to the tower. Is that it up there? No. Maybe. Maybe. Go up a level, I'll grab Raya, and uh, we'll set off from here next episode. And, uh, and head for the Stormcloak camp. And, and uh, head back to have words with Galmar. And see what that's going to do for us down the road. Probably provide us a new mission. Really did get sidetracked there. That's unfortunate. But it was a good time. And I'm glad I didn't take Malthus off. I'm glad I slaughtered her outright while she was stuck there in her cage. And I'm glad I took her staff anyway. It will, uh, it will go. It will be sold to the Stormcloak Quartermaster. And uh, will, uh, will be used to slay an Imperial or two. By one who knows how to wield it far better than I. So, appreciate y'all stopping by. Hope you had a good time while you were here. And I uh, hope you will continue to stop in for the ongoing adventures here in Skyrim. Until next time, though. Remember why it hurts. Later.